Hey, Babette. I just texted you. Did you do a, a live today? Because I did not get a notification. Hey, Brie. Anyway, I started to watch it, but then I thought, what am I doing? I've got to do my life before I miss Vlogtober, so I will have to look at it later on. So how are you guys doing this fine, fine Friday? Just you and I, Brie, Rois M.I.A. Hi, MD Paint Splashes. What does that mean? Am I not? Can you guys see me? Can you hear me okay? Am I buffering again? Like buffer, buffer, buffer. There she is. Hey, Ro, the volume is low. Can you speak up? why the volume would be low hear me forever I have difficulties with this internet here at the office hey hey hi Lori Woo! Lori's in the house <laughs> fancy catching you on live today okay so can you guys hear me okay when we joined it said we were waiting for you to join The internet hates me. That's okay. Can, okay, can you guys hear me better? Yes, it did say that. Might need to change name, Miriam. Yes, so I don't forget. Hello, can you guys hear me? <laughs> For the channel, yeah. So is anyone going to answer me? Can you hear me? Okay. Am I blurry like yesterday? That might be a good thing anyway. Yes, you can. You can hear me. Okay. I'm a tad blurry. Well, you know, I put that that says spot and I do have it on. And so, yeah, never know. Jeez, I am staying. Uh, like I had mentioned, this be the time, the, um, there's a lot of activity, I think, around this time. And so, like yesterday, it cleared up later on in the evening. So, so hopefully it will clear up. I know it's quite irritating. I would not want to do a lady. Sorry, guys. But um, right now, there's not a whole lot I can do. Better anyway that I look blurry. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you guys are new to my channel, I am the designer for the Sojourner Traveler's Notebooks and other leather goods. Here we talk about diary keeping, journaling, travel, and um, basically anything that will help you keep your documenting your life as it happens. And yeah, this is the place. If you're about journaling, planning, or travel, or even once in a while art, this is the place to be so if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and hit that um, bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video as well as when i go live on vlogtober month which means i'm vlogging every day of the month and today is fifth day Woohoo! and i'm i'm here i'm showing up and so anyway there we go. Yeah. So the first order of things yesterday, I had uh, a giveaway and you look forward to them. Thank you, Brie. You're such an encouragement. Thank you. Um, so it was lagging. I see it on my iPad here. This is really annoying. So like when I move, okay. I'm not lagging now. So anyway, okay, so yesterday I talked about, <laughs> I talked about um, giving some things away. 
one of which is Bree's full handle. To choose whatever you want, each side of your cover, it will be in the FN, the Phil Notes signature size. So that's one winner. That would be the first one. And then the second one is Enoch in the Sojourner folio style for a uh, modified A5, which fits the Jibun Techo A5. And so we saw yesterday that it will fit on an iPad and on the other side, so you can take notes as you're looking at your um, iPad lecture, whatever that you're looking at on your iPad. So those are the two. I asked my daughters to choose a number, and so I'm going to show you so that you know it's legit. They really did choose these numbers themselves. Am I still blurry, guys? I hope you can see this. Someone tell me real quick, am I so blurry? Stop chatting. Answer my question. <laughs> Just kidding. Am I so blurry, guys? Can you see this okay? Okay, so we're just gonna go through this. So, um, oh, what is that? I don't want. My daughter. You know what? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, great. Not too bad. So it's going to clear up either later or tomorrow. <laughs> Let me just double check something real quick, guys. If I can. I cannot. So never mind. We're just going to be blurry. Okay, here we go. Audio, now what are you saying? Good. Should I just stand here, guys? Or just make do? Let's just make do. Ah. Okay, so here we go. Krista, can you please pick from 100 to 200? We have a sheet. Okay, I have a number. So okay, what's the number? Do I say that loud? 116. It's 116.8. And the comment number one, first of all, since we went with her first, get to win a book, a journal. So that would be Rylan. I don't care, but I will call. She doesn't contact me first. Alan. Alan. And um, she commented saying, loving the daily vlogs. Can you make a weekly cover made with a natural thin leather you use for the pockets? And I since answered her trying to get information what exactly what she means by that. But um, anyway, so that was her little comment. So yay for Robin Allen. She won this. Congratulations. And then the other person who won, and she wins the Sojourner in Enoch. And that would be Mackenzie Blue Eye. And this is what she says. I made for my Hobonichi for two, but they don't look as good as Breeze. <laughs> well, it's just nice, as nice. So she's the second winner, Mackenzie. She wins that so Yay! 
okay, okay. So, my topic for today, are you guys ready? It's Friday, so um, I thought this would be a good topic for October. And what it is, let me get my notes, is what is the difference between a journal and a diary? We all have always wondered what the difference is. Yay! Thanks before, I thank you, Rowan. You, yes, your address. And then we'll go from there. So today is what a journal and a diary. So I've always often wondered because, um, well, because people use it different ways, right? And so I looked it up on Webster's Dictionary. And on there it says that a journal is a record of experiences, ideas, or if reflections kept regularly for private use. And then a diary is a record of events, transactions, or observations kept daily or at frequent intervals. So I'm like, really? <laughs> and then I looked up other ones on Wikipedia and all of that. And, you know, they are just basically kind of the same thing. Um, I think what I've gathered, though, see here on the diary, it says that it is written in a form that's discreet and the entries are arranged by date, reporting on what has happened over the course of a day or other period. So all that reading that I did, I came to the conclusion that they're basically the same thing. It's however you want to call it because they have different kinds of definitions for them. And so I know that how I've always thought, it also leans toward things that I've read, is that a journal is sometimes called a journal if you're, let's say you're doing a research on something. You're journaling about that research. But then on another hand, some are talking about how you also use a journal for your inner thoughts, your um, working through things and things like that. And a diary, it seems like more is uh, like an event of what happened that day. So you can keep a diary that's very short. can listing of what you did let's say breakfast with Jean lunch at Coco's doctor's appointment whatever it's just a quick chronological um, list of what you did that day I think a lot of diaries are like that so it's kind of like planning to me so I don't really know I think they're both about the same thing I don't think it really matters what you call it whether it's a journal or a diary and you know there's also the commonplace book so to me that's kind of a way of journaling because you're taking down facts and you're writing them and then maybe you're putting your thoughts on there and then there's also the books when you read books and you talk about the book maybe um, take excerpts out of the book and on there you write what your thoughts at, uh, are uh, on that particular topic, you know, things like that. And so I think they're basically the same thing. And so anyway, but I wanted to also read to you um, because a lot of times people will ask me what are, um, I or tell me that they don't know what to do as far as, hi, Cynthia, as far as how to start a diary or a journal. So a couple of things. Um, here it says creative ideas to get you started by the way all of this I googled it is easier to say journaling than writing in my diary um, and uh, yeah so all of this I found on Google and honestly it's all kinds of things if you just put what is the difference between journal and a diary it will give you a slew of all sorts of different um, explanations and more and so, um, for instance, the topics, what is reflective journal? What is a personal journal? Can write us. How do you express your feelings in writing? How do you write a journal? Why is journaling therapeutic? So there's all kinds of different things that you can read up on if you so wish. 
But here, what I was talking about is creative ideas to get you started. Write a letter, write a list. I agree, Babette diaries sound like a teenage girl. Ha <laughs> ha. Write a letter, write a list, use a photo, describe a character, write a poem, write a dialogue, write a memory. And so there you go, you can get started. And then there's all kinds of other articles about getting started as well, not just that one. And then five smart reasons why you should journal. Better connection with your values, emotions, and goals. Help improve mental clarity, help solve problems, improve overall focus, makes sense. Journals improve insights, tracks overall development. Something you could track. I think we talked about that on day three when I had um, my sweet friend Hope, when I interviewed her, we talked a little bit about that. And so, um, Here's a quote, journaling daily is the powerful keystone habit you can acquire. And I think that is so, whoops, sorry, I read that wrong. Journaling daily is the most potent and powerful keystone habit you can acquire. And I think that's so, so true. And there's really no wrong way to document your life. Um, basically in, in however form you would like to do it, it's just totally fine. And so with that, that's all I have to share on that today. And um, so with that, do you guys have any thoughts on journaling and diary? Maybe some ideas of how you get started um, journaling. Maybe tell me how old were you when you started journaling? I've mentioned it quite often that I was 10 years old when I started. I have a bunch of journaling articles inked on my IG page if people need help with why and how to journal. Yep, there you go. So it's on her IG. I have not even gone through that. I need to. So yeah, there's just so many reasons why you want to journal. So tell me, who got you started journaling? I have an old journal from third grade. Wow. You should show that sometime. Uh, sometime in this vlog to show the stack of journals that I have, the ones that I have in existence right now. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. That's why I'm loving and grateful for all you charging my heart to take up journaling. I can't thank you all enough. Old, my, your oldest sister got cool. Me journaling. Thanks for definition. I didn't know the difference. Friends makes total sense now. Well, I don't sense of that. I have my journal from age eight. What a hoot. Exactly. Do Robbie Space, you can open up your journal and read it. Some of it. I still have a diary from when I was 14, although I started before that. I'm 50 now. Nobody got me started. My thought I was a Hello Kitty journal, and I think that was grade three. Wow, how fun. Mine is my first journal was was one or diary was lock on it but the lock never really worked um you know it was one of those cheap locks and i wish i had it still i don't anymore i don't know what happened to it that would have been so cool i think the earliest journal that i have now is i think i was 15 years old but um nevertheless you and me both Lori. ha 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 so funny to look back on i started at 45 better late than never um, mom my lock and read it. Oh gosh. Mine had a lock too. Yeah, my parents read mine too. Mine has a lock. Love it. I uh, wanted to read to you guys. It's it's video form. I had to do one of my daughters. Uh, my first journal was in coil bound with a green cover and polka dots. I was three or four. Oh wow. Oh, and oops. Exactly. That happened to me. I was um, already older. I mean, I was a, a manager for a movie theater at that point. I think I was about 18. And um, I came home one day and right there, my bedroom is where the street is. And as clear as daylight, my dad was on my at my desk reading. Yes, yeah, stop journaling then for years. He was reading my journal. Yeah, but 
However, he felt like he needed to read it to find some information. Well, whatever. It's done. I'm not even sure what he read, but my husband went through mine once trying to see if I wrote about what type of engagement ring I wanted. <laughs> well, that's a good one. I was supposed to um, do a flip through of my daughter's. Um, she was 20 at that time, and I'm still going to do that on a video. I had a lock too, a girl's diary, diary mostly filled with all our different moves as a girl. Ha ha, Brie, and did you? He could have asked. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to read an excerpt. I don't care if you read. Wow. <laughs> a girl effort. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to read to you guys an excerpt. And by the way, I have asked her if I can re if I can do a flip through of this um, a journal of hers, travel journal. She's 24 now. This was when she was 20, and we went to Europe. Anyway, she she had said that yes, it's it's fine that I read this. Um, it's her travel journal that she took with her. Anyway, it says um, 10 hour. 10 hour plane ride, three hours in, and it's already rough. Chose chicken over pasta. I'll never make that mistake twice. Also, never drink an entire coffee before a flight. Hashtag small bladder, hashtag. What is that? Something probs. Anyway, yeah. Then she put, took the center seat, hashtag. Suck a servant. <laughs> oh, she's trying to say she's such a servant. Okay, I get it, ma'am. Then she puts, the guy sitting in the window seat next to us has slept the entire time and hasn't gotten up to use the bathroom once. How does he do it? I must learn his ways. So that's just her being funny. And the thing that I, I love about this is that I bet you she hasn't, forgotten all the things that she wrote in here but yet this is a memory that she will always have and I've kept it for her because I have a feeling that she might lose it or maybe not think it's that important to cherish it at this point so I kept it for her and so it's in my possession so that someday she can have this back and look back to it at it and see all that she wrote so anyway I'll be reading some more of that um, later. Your girls are beautiful, Rowena. Oh, thank you. How cute. Praise showing her value. Exactly. Oh, no, I would never, never read anything not allow me to read. She would not want me to read. So great. But yeah, she's just super funny. It just kind of gives you an insight of how they journal or how she journaled and also maybe give you an insight on how you journal, you could journal because I really actually, I think she was able to do a lot with her little um, journal. And I think just those small snippets, it doesn't have to be long winded. It doesn't have to be a lot of thoughts. I love the look of the journal. Is it on craft paper? Yes, it's on craft paper. And um, it doesn't have to be, be short, you know? I mean, I guess you can call this a diary. It's just, you know, a bunch of hashtags, <laughs> but uh, it, it doesn't that show you um, the basic year that it was when she wrote this because there, that was about the time that hashtags were becoming really super popular, right? And so it gives you a historical um, view of what a 20 year old would be writing in 2014. So that's one of the reasons why you want to keep a journal. It's not just for yourself or for your own children, but for future. I love how it's internal dialogue that she was having in that moment. <laughs> yeah, is it how this different words, even though not a huge time difference? Exactly. Yeah, and she still has the same um, funny, witty ways. But uh, anyway, it's just I I love reading what she wrote because it's just I see how funny she is. You know, what her journaling done on craft paper yes it's on craft paper yes me too Lori 
So yeah, anyway, um, we'll do a video a intro for it. I just threw the flip through, maybe this weekend, but I already have the plans for this Monday of what I'm going to be posting and I'm collecting different topics for Vlogtober. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogtober and October. It's finally been cool here in California. And so I'm super excited about that. I can now wear leggings. So anyway, that's all I wanted to really talk to you guys about and just keep um, encouraging you to journal. Love all these live videos. Oh, I'm glad somebody loves, oh goodness, I love that you're doing it. Oh, thank you so much. Easiest thing to, but you know, I'm enjoying it. It will just help me get um, better at speaking impromptu. Rainy gross day here in Seattle. Oh, I love rainy days. I wish we had rain. It kind of teased us a little bit at the beginning of this week, but then it's in the 80s again, but that's okay. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I hope to see you. I love the vlogs too. So wonderful. Oh, thank you so much, you guys. You guys are so encouraging. Um, yeah, if you've not done these things, vlogs or videos, we are having a rainy day here too. Bye, bro. Bye. So if you've not done any vlogs or really can be nerve wracking, some of this for a little while, I'm here now starting to get more serious about um, the YouTube channel and all. I'm a um, Monday, it may be Monday at midnight. Have a great weekend that you um, will get the I am making it happen on Mondays, every Monday. So you could count on that. I'm going to try to get to the point where I'm doing it on by noon. So that would be great. When I get to that point, that'll be, be excited about it. Have, shalom. Have a great, great weekend. And thank you guys again for being such an encouragement. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend full of coffee, tea, time with your um, and most of all, I hope that you get a chance to keep on documenting your life as it happens. Happy, thing, happy Thanksgiving weekend, Canadian. Was Thanksgiving for you guys. Yay. Okay. Bye-bye. See you next week.